Dredd is one of the most feared cops in a post-apocalyptic metropolis. Only one thing fighting for order in the chaos, the men and women of the Hall of Justice. When a powerful new drug hits the streets, Dredd and his team try to stop its spread. Pink Street is the manufacturing base for all the slow-mo in Mega City One. Rookie, you ready? But when a vicious drug lord discovers his plan, I want him dead. An all-out urban war ignites in Dread. Hi, I'm Leah. I'm Sean. And I'm the law. Sorry, Salim. No, you can't. I just did that voice. It was Sylvester Sloan voice. You did like some Batman voice. You know what? This isn't Batman. <laughs> this is Dread 3D. Mm -hmm. We've all just seen it. Salim, you want to fill us in on this? Yeah, sure. The character Judge Dredd is actually based off of a pretty famous British comic book. And of course, we all know the wonderfully amazing 90s version of Judge Dredd with the beautiful Sylvester Sloan and his awesome blue eyes. I kind of wanted to hate this movie because there's an endless supply of puns associated with me giving my final verdict on this movie. <laughs> it was dreadful. It filled me with dread. I dreaded the experience. Guess what? <laughs> I liked it. Oh! Oh, snap! I liked the movie. It was written by Alex Garland, who wrote 28 Days Later and Never Let Me Go. Sunshine. Sunshine. Mm -hmm. eh, I didn't like that so much. But you get you get talented people to do stuff for you, and sometimes it sometimes. pays off. I mean, there's no character development in this movie. It doesn't go into its futuristic world at mm -hmm. all. It doesn't really explain its concept of, of what's going on or how the world operates or what the whole justice system is where mm -hmm. people are acting as judge, jury, and executioner. Mm -hmm. But it's a simple concept an action movie premise that's basically a descendant of Die Hard. It doesn't reinvent the wheel, but it knows the wheel, and it does it well. Carl Urban, the person who plays Judge Dredd, he's like, all right, this version of Dredd, the helmet is staying on the entire movie because that was a very big part of the comic series. So we have Olivia Thurlby, who plays his you know, rookie cop who he has to kind of show on the first day on the job, and she's kind of the emotional core. She's kind of the person who we have character development from. This movie really knows what it wants to be. It is a straightforward cops versus drug dealers mm -hmm. action movie, and it pulls no punches, and therefore it doesn't take itself too seriously. It does adhere to the die-hard kind of premise. You know, all of this action takes place in this one location in this big, tall building. Mm -hmm. There is extreme graphic violence in this film, and there is no social yeah. critique, and so, unfortunately, that renders a lot of the violence kind of pointless, mm -hmm. and then you realize that is the point. It is, look at what I can do with special effects, and as long as you're okay with that, you're good, but mm -hmm. they, the writer does do a good job of peppering it with this gallows humor, yeah. which tones down some of that graphic violence. What was great about that is that they didn't take themselves too seriously. Right. It was actually quite funny. It was deadpan humor, which is they, making fun of itself. There are these kind of camp elements where mm -hmm. the movie is really kind of very conscious of oh. what it is doing. Exactly. What did you all think of Carl Urban's performance? You mentioned that he was committed to wearing the helmet the whole time. Mm -hmm. Carl Urban's been good in bad movies. I yeah. mean, he was in Doom. Certainly, he came from Lord of the Rings, which you know people love. But he came from you know he's he's, he was bones. He in was bones Star in Star Trek. Trek you're right. Chronicles of Riddick. Chronicles of Riddick. So mm -hmm. this guy, he, he's a good actor. I know that the, the helmet thing is, is very important, especially to Judge Dredd fans. I mean, it was a major criticism of the Stallone picture. I get it, but at the same time, I, it, it, he feels so stuck behind that mask that mm. he really is just kind of this emotionless, robotic right. figure. Right. And Carl Urban is fine. He does exactly what he's called on to do, but I really wish that we could have gotten to know this guy a little bit more than the movie gives us. He is robotic. He is a little kind of one note, but he really sells it on the physicality. He sells me on the action. He uses his weapons mm -hmm. very well. Olivia Thurlby, who plays Anderson, the rookie, she won't wear a helmet. <laughs> you know, and they have a very cute exchange about whether to wear the helmet or not. I thought she was great, especially because near the end of the movie, she's not just this damsel in distress who's waiting for Dredd to save her. Thank God. Thank God. We have Lena Headey playing Mama, a former prostitute who emerges as the queen pin of a drug empire in this housing development. I've been a fan of hers ever since I saw her in the Sarah Connor Chronicles in 300. I thought she was a great leading lady, but we've seen her kind of take a turn since Game of Thrones. Mm -hmm. Now she's this villain, and whoa, she can play the villain very well. Pete Travis is the director here. We last saw him with Vantage Point. Mm. He does a really good job here. It's clear that he knows style, that he knows spectacle, he knows scale. But I do think that there are moments where he lingers yeah. lovingly way too long on some of his special effects. And it's yeah. like, you know what? I want to see the explosions. I don't want to see the trail of smoke afterwards. 
And I did feel that this movie, yes, it is stylistic, but I don't think that it relishes its style as much as a lot of the movies mm-hmm. we see today. I agree, yeah. I thought it was great the way they introduced the idea of this drug called the slow-mo drug. They really write this into the movie from the very beginning. Everything's all slow motion, so it looks really cool. So it, it helps aesthetically, but it also really is a driving force for the story. Dread in 3D is not a perfect film, but it is enjoyable. However, with the extreme graphic violence, I do think watching it at home will tone it down a little bit. So stream it. Well, it's nothing new under the sun, but Dread knows its concept and it works as visual spectacle. So I'm gonna say see it. A violent, action-packed, slow-mo thrill ride. Definite see it. All right, cheers. Cheers. I am the law. Judgment time. If you took Judge Dredd out of this movie Mm -hmm. and stuck in a different character, it's going to work just as well. 